Hi, God bless everyone. I had this dream a while ago and I did not share it because it was personal, but I felt the Holy Spirit told me to share this dream. So in this dream, I was on all fours and there was a yoke and I had the understanding that it was a yoke put around my neck and it was plastic. It was like a plastic lay like they give out in Hawaii and it was itchy and uncomfortable and I wanted it off my neck. And I was just moving my head from side to side all over like, oh, get this off of me. And then next, I was put, what was put on my neck was a cloth. It was just made of cloth. And I was like, oh, it was uncomfortable. It was just annoying. It's, you know, like if you have on a necklace and we, before you go to sleep, you want to take this necklace off. It's, it's uncomfortable. And it was uncomfortable and I wanted it off my neck. And then next, what was put on my neck was this, it looked like a silhouette and it was very comfortable. And I was like, oh, it felt good. I was like, oh, this isn't so bad. This is, this is okay. And I understood that it was a yoke and the dream told me my yoke is easy. And I understood at that point in the dream that that yoke was the book that the Lord told me to write. And I was in the dream once I understood that in the dream and I was saying how a lot of times I would sit to write the book and I would just sit in, the, in front of the computer and just cry and cry and cry because I have never been skilled at writing novels. I was one of those people who always struggled in English. I do have a chemical engineering degree. So my mind was very well at analyzing things, you know, taking things apart, studying things and things like that. But in terms of writing, I've never been gifted in writing at all. So it, it was, it's been very hard for me and I was trying my best not to complain. And the Lord knows that because I know that the Israelites in the time of Moses, they kept murmuring and complaining all the time. And I was just trying not to do that, but I would just sit there and cry like, what am I doing? And I was really doubting this book. Like, is anybody going to read this book? Like, what's the point? And is it going to make me any money or anything is going to help me with anything? Is, and I was just feeling like it's such a burden to me, even though I didn't want to say that. And I just kept every time the thoughts and things would come to my head, I would try to rebuke them. And I, I just said, I got to write it. The Lord wants me to write it. And it was, it was really hard. And writing that book has been very, very difficult. To be honest, I have started writing that book several times. Wrote, oh my goodness, you don't even want to know how many pages. Just a chunk and say it's garbage and start over. So when I had this dream, and I don't even remember when I had this dream. Well, let me finish the dream first. And so then after I'm thinking like that and I started in the dream, I started to worry again, like, oh, that book. Oh, you know, I was really upset about it. And then God said to me, just trust me, just like that. And then the dream ended. So after I had this dream, I really just cried out to God and repented for the way that I was acting. And I don't know, it's like something just broke off of me. And I was able to write the book and I've been writing this book and I'm amazed. I'm like, I can't even believe that I'm doing this because I like, I'm not gifted in this area. If my English teachers could talk to the public from grade school to college, they would say Shauna is horrible at writing stories and things like that. Cause I was always really bad with that, but I'm able to write this book now and I'm really shocked about by it. And I'm actually very excited about it. I love writing it and I've actually made a schedule that I try to keep like a regular job to get this book done. And I'm, I, I thank God for that. But the Lord wanted me to share it because what he told me, cause I didn't want to share it, you guys, you know, cause it was personal, but what the Lord told me is that other people that he's telling them to do things, they are also feeling the same way I was feeling like, oh, this is so difficult. This is so hard. What am I doing? What, what is going on? What is the point? And God is saying to you, just trust him. Just let it go. And one of the things I did is I prayed to God and I said, God, oh, I can't write. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where to begin. And the book 
to be honest, was mostly I had written, I had like 31 chapters and it was just notes. It was just all these notes, but putting it together and trying to make a a book and a story was very difficult, very, very difficult. Now I've shortened it down to hopefully only five, five to six chapters. And I actually have outlined it and I know what I want to talk about. And it's the flow is going beautifully. And I thank God for that. But, you know, just trust God, talk to God. And and I'm not saying it's going to be five or six chapters for, um, for certain, you know, it might, that might change. But just really talk to God and understand, you know, help him. Let the Lord help you with whatever hard task he has you do, doing. You know, that could be ministering to your family or others. And it could be you have to write a book, too. You know, God is calling a lot of us to write a book. A lot of us. You know, I was listening to a video by another brother. I don't know if I, I should say his name, but he said the same thing that God called him to write a book. And then another friend of mine, I'm not going to say her name, a close friend of mine said the same thing. God came to her in a dream and she said the same thing as me. She's not good at writing or anything like I have to write a book like what, <laughs> you know, God is calling us to do really hard tasks. And I have gotten so many dreams about this after this and some of them I did post you know confirming that God is telling me to get this done but some of them I didn't post I had another dream and um, God was showing me how writing the book was protecting me even spiritually in a spiritual realm that I was being obedient to God and getting it done but I'm the perfectionist I want everything to be perfect and this was something that was totally out of my realm. Like if it was something I could easily do and make it perfect, I was like, okay, I can do that. But this was something that was like, it was very difficult to me for me. But God is showing me, no, my yoke is easy. You can do this. You can do this. And I say to you all, if God is telling you to, to do something, you can do it. He's not going to put more on you than you can bear. So, and that's what I kept saying to myself too. And I thank God because I, I can see that now. So anyway, I pray that you all would draw strength from this. And I, I love you all so much. God bless you forever. Bye.